Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch this game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. The next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe files, select properties, and then go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work this time select windows 7 over here and then hit apply click on ok and then make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time Put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization then hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work check if if there is any other exe file so here you can see this exe file make a right click on this exe file select properties and do the same thing first of all try to run the game as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work Put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, try Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK and then launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. But still it's not working in that case. So when you put a check on all these boxes, if this is not working, you can uncheck these boxes. And then for, go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and then uncheck all these boxes so when you put a check if it's not working you can uncheck these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties and this time type in dash dx12 in launch option now launch the game and then check still not working then you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files and once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 if you have windows 10 you will have an option update and security click on update and security in windows 11 click on privacy and security now click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection now scroll down click on manage ransomware protection now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open now again click on add and allowed app browse all apps this time open project folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so open program files x86 steam folder steam apps folder common open the game folder select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on allow another app and then click on browse once again and then open this project folder binaries win64 
select this exe file now click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now click on ok on the bottom now launch the game and then check now the next step is to now perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select product type for me it's ge force so select your product type and then select your graphic product series now uh, for for me it's uh, ge force rtx 30 series so make sure that you select your series over here now once you select your series then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then for this download type it's game ready driver and then click on search now you will see the latest uh, graphic driver over here now click on download and then again click on download and once the download is complete you have to run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and once the driver is installed now you can restart your computer and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder open the game folder select this exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and then open this project folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on add once the game is added now click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check next step is to delete the save game files now before you delete the save game files let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you if you agree to this if you want to delete the save game files then open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items then open app data folder now open the local folder open this this folder or you can simply make a right click on this folder and then click on delete you will lose all the game progress and the saved settings so if you agree you can delete this file and then go back and this time open the roaming folder and then over here open the sega folder and here you can see the game folder make a right click and then delete it now once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 
16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download this x86 and x64 file so click on this x86 file and once the download is complete run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow now download x64 file as well again once the download is complete run this exe file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once the installation are complete restart the computer restart is a must after this restart the computer and then launch the game now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have these devices connected disconnect it also disconnect additional controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party applications or services running close it disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game next step is to close all the other overlay application so if you have discord running you can close discord if you have ge force experience running close ge force experience so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application you can close it and then launch the game perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration and then go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services first of all put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game also if you have underwrited the computer remove the underwood and then launch the game next step is to if you are able to launch the game you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics setting so if you are able to launch the game then launch the game first now once you launch the game go to options and then go to graphics option over here on the top and then if the motion blur is on you can turn it off scroll down now if the screen mode is set to full screen you can try window mode or you can even go for borderless so i will switch to window mode now if the resolution is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more now vertical sync you can turn it off frame rate limit you can set it to 60 or maybe 190 or maybe 120 so i will set it to 60 then apply the settings and then check the performance now if nothing is working the last step is to first of all update your windows to the latest version so make sure that your windows is up to date go to windows update click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart the computer and then launch the game now after the windows update still it's not working the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so to uninstall the game you can make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall 
go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart the computer, and then reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, you can uninstall the game and install the game to C drive. Now, if the game is already installed to C drive, in that case, you can try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.